And on uh, one of the first days of your class, which is predominantly sophomores, you ask the kids to get out, write a 10-minute essay on what the American dream means to them. And this year, the results were jaw-dropping. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, in addition to asking them what the American dream looks like for them, I then had them write specifically what they wanted the federal government to do to help them achieve that dream. Right. I took the essays from three classes, about 180 students, back to my office and over the next day poured over them. About 10% of the students uh, said that they wanted the government to leave them alone and not tax them too much and let them regulate their own lives. Uh, but over 80% of the students uh, said that in a, the, the American dream to them meant a house and a job and uh, plenty of money for retirement and vacations and things like this. But when it came to the part about the federal government, uh, 8 out of 10 students said that they wanted free health care, they wanted the government to pay for their tuition, they wanted the government to pay for the down payment on their house, uh, they expected the government to, quote, give them a job. Uh, many of them said that they wanted the government to tax wealthier individuals so right. that they would have an opportunity to have a better life. Here, so, uh, we, uh, well, I tell you what, Jack, we've got a little snippet from one of the essays one of the kids wrote. As human beings, we are not really responsible for our own acts, and so we need government to control those who don't care about others. Now, as you describe it, where uh, the kids said, you know, they want free college, they want the down payment, free health care. Have they been watching? Do you feel that that is from this whole Occupy movement? They feel like they're part of the 99 and they want the 1% to give them the rest of their lives? Well, this essay was written before the Occupy movement really took hold. So uh, fundamentally, they had this belief uh, before uh, people in their cohort group took to the streets to demand the same sorts of things that they uh, wrote that they expected in, uh, in this essay that they wrote for me. It's been two years since the devastating earthquake hit Haiti, but quake victims say government and aid agencies have not delivered on their promises to help with the recovery effort. Nearly 6,000 Haitians marched on Wednesday to remember the earthquake and protest against what they say is a slow recovery process. They say the government and aid organizations have not done enough to ensure the donations go to those who need them. Two years after, nothing has been done in the poorest neighborhoods. As a citizen within the poor neighborhoods, we have found that there was not a policy for housing, and that's why so many people have died. One day before the two-year anniversary of the disaster, Haitians peacefully wound their way through the streets of Port-au-Prince wearing white t-shirts and straw hats to symbolize unity among the poorest. Several NGOs came together to help organize Wednesday's march, saying that access to land and housing is a fundamental right that is not being met for Haiti's earthquake survivors. Haitians are also struggling to get access to education. We've heard from a government official that there is free school for all, and we haven't seen that yet. They don't pay the teachers and they collect money over and over. Still, teachers are not paid, children cannot find food to eat, they are stuck in tents. The kids cannot go to school, even though they said school is free, and that's not true. Around a quarter of a million Haitians were killed by the quake and more than one million were left without homes. The recovery effort has been one of the world's biggest humanitarian and reconstruction operations involving more than 12,000 aid groups. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, January 13th, 2012 and I'm Darko. My website is ggnline.com and on YouTube it is ddarko2012. Okay, so you know it Watching that first video about the students expecting uh, their mortgage payments to be paid by the government, that, um, you know, where did it come from? Well, it came from the schools. I mean, that's where it came from. That's part of the indoctrination process. Um, and it, was, you almost sound, it almost sounded uh, uh, similar to what that school teacher, you know, oh, school, 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 screw the schools, man. It's like, <laughs> I always hear this about the education, education. People give, they always have like, this humongous heart for education and they bypass everything else uh, where people are getting uh, having eugenics carried out on them and uh, behavior modification and then they and then the biggest uh, place where behavior modification takes place isn't education re-education 
So I just that just makes my skin curl when uh, when I saw that teacher right there. Uh, but they do the 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 individual in the beginning did have um, a, a very legitimate point as far as the housing and all that and the aid. Um, I've covered this before. I actually covered uh, the the whole Haiti debacle or disaster extensively when it was happening um, for at least a couple months. Uh, beginning with of the video that I made was you know the earthquake in Haiti a harp. Uh, a harp induced. So if it was, that's a that, that that's a, that's a these guys are victims. That was a weather weapon causing an earthquake, and then following that was the eugenics, which was the first thing that happened was not helping the people, but setting up uh, telecommunications and, and airports and military ships coming, and then came in what the Red Cross and the vaccines, and then what did I cover as well? Well, most of that money that was donated through the Red Cross and all that, uh, these, quote, trusted uh, aid organizations, it didn't actually go to the people. No, most of it was lost in a black hole, just like the Japanese earthquake. So uh, you can see that it was a eugenics operation. And, uh, you know, a good, a good sign of that is what? Scientists, UN soldiers brought deadly superbug to America. So they don't give a crap about, uh, about the Haiti people. Uh, it's just a way for people to come together and start airing their, all, their, all their, their grievances while at the same time nothing actually gets done to help these people. I mean, there was actually a video where I covered uh, one specific article about how the aid workers were uh, pictured holding, you know, uh, 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 joking around, all drunk and holding uh, rifles and stuff like that. And then, of course, you had uh, the Doctors Without Borders and that, like, basically volunteer that really wanted to help. And what was what was happening? They were getting they were getting pushed away. They were saying you can't come in. And the biggest thing is what is artisite, someone that could have actually came in and helped the Haitian people. Uh, an ex-president that basically got ran out by the CIA and um, you know the Western powers that wanted someone like uh, like this individual right here, Haitian President Michael Martelli, um, delays controversial army plan. You can go in there and check out this individual. You can see his ties with military and police and owned his own nightclub and stuff like that. So he's big business and stuff like that. Um, and what he wanted to he wanted to reinstate uh, a national army. So you know all the other things that could have happened maybe with Artisite. No, they put this guy in there and he comes in. Nothing changes. So the the beat goes on and the beat goes on. I'm gonna keep moving on myself. Just cooking Andy's cat. What sick yob texted to girlfriend after microwaving pal's beloved pet, a man who cooked a pet cat to death in a microwave oven. Uh, after being left home alone at friend's flat, has been jailed for six months. The words, quote, menu, fried cat, uh, one pound and 20, I forgot what it is, pence or something like that, has been uh, written on the kitchen wall uh, in the flat. Okay. Thug who killed big issue seller for kicks released after just two years and whines that he's bored. Attack by Warren Crago and two mates. Uh, worst case of mob violence. Sorry. Uh, imaginable. Lee's pitiful message on Facebook. Nothing to do out in the big world for me. Says also spouts hatred of police and threatens to punch black boys. And this just really gets me. Uh, these these um, acts against homeless people. I cannot stand that. And I hope that whatever... These people that do this, I just hope that karma gets them and gets them hardcore. Uh, it says here, Warren Crago was 16 when he and two teenage friends beat homeless man Ralph Millward, 41, to death after finding him asleep on the pavement in Westbourne. So, you know, that's how it always is with homeless people. It's not bad enough, but then they have to have these young uh, punks here with uh, absolutely no morals. I don't know how they're raised, but either way, uh, you know, they're going to go ahead and just take out whatever their aggression, maybe their abuse, maybe whatever, uh, and take it out on uh, these poor souls that really have no hope. But we know where it comes from, the, f the fact that the family has been broken for a while now. It's like Kurt Cobain said in that documentary, it was like a plague, and that was for him in what, the 70s or 80s? And, and it was like that, I saw it in my own life, and growing up in the early 80s and the 90s. You know, a good deal, amount, a good amount of people, um, parents were divorced. And so where do they get their morality from? Well, they get it from TV and video games and the re-education camps, the schools. So hit Star Wars game lets players own and torment female slaves with electric shock collar scripted lines uh, such as obey uh, my every command, options to beat and torture female slave, gamers boast about how badly they treat her, can force her to watch your character have sex. Then we have mother drowns baby daughter in bucket while boyfriend watches live on Skype. A mother drowned her baby daughter in a bucket uh, while her boyfriend watched live over the internet. That's right. 
Uh, moving on here, mom receives <clears throat> excuse me, naked pic of teenage boy meant for daughter 13 after borrowing her mobile phone. Horrified mother received two naked photographs of a teenage boy after borrowing her 13-year-old's uh, daughter's mobile phone. And um, so it's not really a big deal that they were sending naked pictures to each other at age, what, 12, 13. No, it's just that the mother caught on to it. Uh, and I'll show you this trend. Um, high school prank involves charming parent-child makeout session. And I've covered this before. And uh, the person that was uh, in charge of it at the high school, trying to trying to gaff off responsibility, said uh, he would like everyone to know that the video appears more offensive because it was taken out of context. So it's just a you know another big misunderstanding um, where incest was promoted at the high school at the reeducation camp. You like that? So. Is that your latest anti-aging technique? Madonna hides her hands beneath red fingerless gloves as she attends the W.E. London premiere. So this is interesting because the title actually changed. Now they're focusing on her hands. This is really weird. Uh, the whole point was that uh, this article was going to be that she was dressed like a witch. So, and they just change it and focus it onto her hands. So I'm covering this only because she's going to be the big programmer. She's going to be the sorcerer casting the spell at the Olympics. And of course, you're going to have all these um, poor souls that aren't even going to know. Um, but hey, you know what? I guess you deserve it. If you don't want to listen to people who are warning you, then go ahead. Uh, listen up and tune into that. Literally, tune into that programming. Uh, I've never cooked a meal, mother of four, Madonna, on why she doesn't slave over a hot stove. In an outburst, Madonna said, but I do everything else. Do I have to do everything? Her disclosure is likely to raise her eyebrows amongst millions of mothers whom cooking is a daily ritual and an inescapable chore. This is old news, but I thought I'd throw it in here. I've been wanting to cover it. Obama in Wonderland, uh, White House through a secret Alice in Wonderland bash during the recession, Michelle's million-dollar rags. But this is the main thing. Tim Burton decorated it in his signature creepy comic style. It goes in here, and he said he turned the room into the Mad Hatter's Tea Party with a long table set, enormous stuffed animals and chairs, and tiered serving plates with treats like bone-shaped meringue cookies, and fruit punch was served in blood vials at the bar. Baptist mayor who refused to judge Halloween pumpkin competition, which glorified Satan's angels, is found guilty of breaching equality rules. See, that's just what I'm talking about, forced diversity. Uh, speaking of rituals and blood, UK police identify body found in Queen's estate, and I, this is, I've already mentioned this on Facebook. What did I think it was well it was a blood sacrifice bringing in the new year and i said i was waiting for the news which would be what i thought a young girl teenage or boy and it was a 17 year old girl that was missing next up tax funded smithsonian christmas season exhibition again focused on homosexuality again i'm not against homosexuality it just is being forced on us here and um we're having what christ taken out of christmas so uh, next up, and of course, some people say, well, it's originally a pagan holiday, whatever. Uh, where creches once stood, atheists now hold forth, so now nativity scenes are now taken over by atheists. Quick disclaimer, I respect atheists for their rigorous uh, attention to empiricism. I'm not against all atheists. But I know Albert Pike's prediction and the plan. It's not a prediction, it's a plan to turn the atheists against the Christians. So this is all taking place. Next up, teenagers sent home from school after turned up uh, dressed in women's clothing. Then next up, we have student banned from yearbook over racy photo. She basically looked like she was uh, tr uh, trying out for Hustler or Playboy. Fuhrer in Greece over pedophilia as a disability. Then meet the academics who are trying to redefine pedophilia as a, quote, inner generational intimacy and that's crazy because if you know anything about what alan watt's been talking about he's mentioned that exact term and now it's out in the public so again according to the plan uh the uh nsfw's kid clothing ad french fashion companies made major foul pow so another mistake oops oh there's a nude guy in the background these are not my <laughs> these are not mistakes i'm sorry health to crack down on non-fluoridated toothpaste some brands of toothpaste that do not contain fluoride will be removed from the supermarket shelves by health and in Fiji. Action alert. Pro fluoride fanatics pushing Pinellas Park, Florida Commission to reinstate water fluoridation. Remember, that was the same area where they were actually going to uh, fund like a $50,000, some crazy number, van, a fluoride van to go um, uh, around mobily and help fluoridate uh, the sheeple. Scientists on track to develop exercising mimicking pills so you don't have to actually do the work. This is older news, but I think it's confirming it. Biotech company using aborted fetal cells lines to test food flavor enhancers, then processed meat linked to pancreatic cancer, a new depression drug likely made with cells from abortion.
So if you have a heart and you have empathy seeing what's going on right now, you're going to get a little depressed. Just imagine when they force you to take this. This is GGN. Thank you.